Hello everyone, welcome to day two of the flywheel prototype build. We're in the metal workshop and the first operation for today is that we're going to bring this inner diameter up to size so we can get this tapered bushing in. And I have my lathe friend here who's going to teach me how to do this. And the first thing that he said, take off the gloves. So around spinning objects, you should actually not wear gloves. They can get stuck and pull your hand in. Next, we are going to do some much more complicated stuff. But that's for later. Let's start easy with the small parts. So the first machine we're going to use is a Fritz Werner DL18 from 1968. So the first thing we will do is just to make a little test cut on a sacrificial piece to get a feel for the machine. I've had 20 seconds of training already, so I'm ready to do my first cut. <laughs> Let's just remind myself, this is this way, okay, and this is this way. Nice, and here is on. Okay, here we go, test cut. I'm inching closer slowly to hear the sound. Yeah. This is easy. <laughs> oh, look at those long ships. I'm past it, which is counterclockwise out. Whoa. I'm just gonna back out and then I'm gonna stop the machine. Well, well, well. Okay, I get it now. This is so much fun. I totally get it now. Nice finish. Pretty nice finish. It's, it's not perfect in the middle. Okay, this is so much fun. So here's the finish of my first ever lathe cut. We're ready for our first job. We're going to open this inner diameter to 42 millimeter for the tapered bushing. So we used two parallels to get it parallel to the face of the chuck. So we cleaned up with a face cut and a small chamfer. We have a new setup with a boring bar, and now we're gonna open this ID to fit the tapered bushing. We're not measuring anything. We're just gonna take a very small cut and then try to see if it fits and then continue until it fits. This was perfect. We can even see some residue from the laser cuttings. It was a very small cut. I don't think we can get the bushing in. No, which is perfect. So we can take some more. We are running into some issues with the work hardened laser cut. Uh, with the tooling we've tried, it's rubbing, it's not cutting. So now we're going to try a carbide insert and see if that does it better. So the carbide insert did the trick. Let's see if this goes in now. It doesn't go in yet, but it's getting really close. The inside looks really nice, so we can take a little bit more. Okay, I think we're really close now. Let's try. And it is actually going in. So I'm going to tighten the taper brushing to see when it bites. Bites already with almost no effort. Super solid, perfect. And there we go. And we're going to turn the inside of the second part. So first testing. Okay, now it's good. We're still too small. Yeah, it's like it doesn't go. This is our third cut and we're trying to go really slow to creep up on the correct dimension. Uh, very close now, I think. So we think this is the one, seventh test. Ooh, yes. That's the fit. Ooh. So let's take a closer look at this part. This fit is perfect. I can just, whoop, I can just squeeze it through with my hand. You can see, clicks in. Perfection. We've done the two small, simple pieces, and now I have these three big chunks left to machine. And for the small ones, we use this lathe. But for the big ones, we are going to use this big lathe. And Work holding is a big thing with lathing, as it's called. Some of you wrote in the comments, it's called turning. 
but as the machine is called a lathe, obviously the verb is lathing. The holes here are designed especially for a four jaw chuck because I want to lathe the ID and the OD. However, here's the big catch. The four jaw chuck is so heavy and it sits on a high shelf in another room and they are working on getting it out. Here's a nice motor and here's Lucas from Siegfried's. <laughs> a kind of a cool ID from Ellie who has climber equipment and is going to somehow get this four yard chuck down <laughs> from the shelf. It looks now like it's going to become a wrecking ball to wreck that truck. Do you need help? I'll be fine. Well, if you can. You're in the swing path, Lucas. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Now slowly lower it. Do you need help, Lucas? I don't think I can lower it. I think no, no, the, the lowering is at the top. Don't worry. That was so well done, Ali. So cool. Oh, this is going to be tight. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit through here. Yeah, yes. I'm happy that the chuck weighs more than the parts we're going to lay. <laughs> I called in support because we need to lift this. He brought his safety sandals. Here we have protection. protection. Don't get hurt here. The most crucial part of the thing. <laughs> this hasn't been used in a long time. I have designed the plates to, for the flipped location. So we're going to flip the chucks 180 degrees for the inside adjustment here. Well done. Yeah, well done. Oh. Wow. Yeah it, is. yeah, it is. So now we can see the reason why I cut these holes in my parts. They are actually custom designed for exactly this four yard chuck. At first. Yeah. Yes. And we're on. We're on. We're on. Whew. Does it look like someone has planned this? Say yes into the microphone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this machine is a Moiser from 1955. We got the first stack of plates on the machine. And now we start with the interesting work to dial the piece in. So I'm going to get you closer and show you how that's done. So with this one, a full revolution of the indicator is one millimeter. So let's see where we are. So that's a quarter of a millimeter. And here's the other way. One and a quarter, okay. Okay, we're a little bit closer now. So uh, if we rotate it, that is five hundredths of a millimeter on one direction. And then when we're at a full revolution, we are back to kind of zero. Five. Five. And zero. We take that. So now we're checking the face. So one. <laughs> awesome. Let's go! Let's spin the plate for the first time. Okay, first cut. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! Why? Back! Now it's not... What's that? Up. So the ID is actually done. We did some passes and uh, the dimensions surprised us a little bit because the weld was almost gone and we're straight in. But I tried to tighten it and it fits perfect. So now we can go to the OD. 
carriage is locked, we have locked this, we have locked this, the two locking things. Not touching here. We put some oil, where I put it here. I think it's going pretty well. It smells machine shop now. The color is good, they're getting a little bit blue. So do you, we're in the second plate and it's more even now. Yeah. The first plate was a little bit shifted. So should I use the thing now? Yeah. Okay, so this... Wow, that's big success, that cat, actually. So thank you so much for all the help. No problem. <laughs> Kevin, who has introduced me to turning on the lathe today, has just left and I'm on my own with the last operations with this big machine. But it's completely fine. I have kind of uh, a whole day of education. So please try this at home. <laughs> so I'm going to break this corner here. So the lathing today went awesome. We fixed one half of the flywheel and these two small parts. We had a lot of setting up to do and a lot of different things to find and tools to find, so we only managed to do three out of five lathing operations because we had to do so much setup. We have to do all the other operations tomorrow. So this was my first time ever lathing. Obviously it's gonna be quite a clown fiesta, <laughs> but we got the job done. So you all understand why I'm doing this. Let me show you exactly how a tapered bushing actually works. It's actually three individual parts and you have a taper on them like that. And then when you tighten these set screws, the OD goes larger. So when I insert this in the OD here and tighten the screws, the taper bushing expands in the OD and in the ID. And then I can take the shaft and put that in as well. Slides in really, really nicely. And just with like a tiny pull of the screw, the shaft is locked securely to the flywheel. So there we go. It's like completely stuck. I kind of almost don't have to pull it at all. That is like super rigidly turned on to the flywheel. This is perfect. I thought we were going to be able to make all the lathing operations, but anyway, uh, we got everything set up and we'll continue tomorrow. So see you already tomorrow for part three. Ciao.